Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm talking about the best investments that we can make on cards that will rise after team of the year today in this video because I know a lot of you guys want to know where can I put my coins to make that investment and possibly make a lot of coins after we see a big time market rise after team of the year of the year. Now there's a couple events this year after team of the year since the time frame is different that I, you know, throw some caution into the wind in terms of the icon moments stuff that will come out in mid February most likely and also the uh Champions League game starting back up with road to the final card. So we have to keep that in mind. Also like a future stars promo that would come out after this pretty quickly. Um, so we have to kind of keep all that in mind for our post team of the year market rise. But I do think there's going to be a ton of cards that rise post team of the year. So we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to look at a ton of different cards, look at cards from last year in FIFA 20 that rose, why they rose, and just kind of explain what cards do well out of packs during team of the year. We're going to look at icons, out of pack specials, and gold cards as well. I want to look at a few golds. But first, we have a official, official card design that was dropped into the code yesterday. This is the official team of the year FIFA 21 card design. I love the middle of the card, but I think the outside of the card, we could do a little bit better. I like last year's design just a bit better because of how, again, this is the perfect word that describes it for me, how regal that was. It just looked regal. It looked like, um, I don't know, just like top tier, top notch, the best that it could be. This year, I love the inside, but the etching around the outside, I think, just doesn't have the same feel as it does last year. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. It's still a beautiful card design. Do not get me wrong. We also had a couple card or a couple pack codes that were added. A Prime Gaming exclusive pack. This is for Amazon Prime uh, and Twitch Prime. If you watch on Twitch.tv, I'm streaming there every single day. Um, you can actually link your Amazon account to your Twitch account and get free packs throughout the second half of the year in FIFA and get a free monthly subscription to your favorite streamer, your boy. It's a cheeky plug. Anyways, uh, 81 plus pack with four rare gold players in it for that. So that's a free one if you have Amazon Prime. And then a couple more interesting packs similar to the 82 pluses that we have had. Uh, in the past week, we have a double 83 attacker, midfielder, and defender pack, which is honestly, I don't think this is going to be a repeatable upgrade. This will probably be an SBC pack that is, you know, a, a one time non repeatable that they might put out even today on Thursday, or a SBC pack that they will use for like the team of the year challenge SBCs that will come out every day or so during the team of the year promo. So, just I guess a couple nice packs that might give us an increased chance of packing. Uh, what people would say is the impossible packing a team of the year player in this game. So let's get on with the special card and talk about which cards I think will be rising after team of the year and some of the best return on investment that I think you can make. Now, first of all, we have to understand that there are so many more special cards this year in FIFA than there ever have been. We've had more promos. We've had like a promo almost every single week. Uh, without, you know, I think we've only missed a couple weeks this year in FIFA, but so many more special cards this year, which gives us so much more opportunity to see a market rise out of packs on some items that are very meta. And you're going to hear me say meta and OP a lot because those are the things that people want to buy for their teams. That's the stuff that you want to be investing in for a rise post team of the year, because that's what everybody is going to be want wanting to buy. So I want to talk about some specific cards and first, go back to FIFA 20, throw it back to a year ago, and look at some cards that did incredible out of packs, right? We're going to look at some Road to the Finals, Informs, other special cards, and then look at this year's cards and which ones could do good, and then look at Icons and Gold cards at the end, right? Road to the Finals did fantastic last year. Of course, this year we have such a shorter window between when Team of the Year is and when Road to the Final is, whereas last year we started a lot earlier with team of the year and we had a lot more time for those cards to rise over a month or about around a month into the actual time frame of champions league but look at this young son right 1.2 million coins on the playstation 1.0506 on the xbox and a month later at the beginning of february this dude is literally up uh 600 000 coins 1.7 on the, on the uh, playstation and 1.4 
on the Xbox. So a nice crazy rise there on a very meta player in FIFA, Hyunmin Sun. Of course, that is a live item as well. Same thing happened with Neymar, right? Neymar didn't have many specials last year, and he was like one of the most overpowered guys that we had last year. It was his gold card that people loved and they used. And when he got this position change, center attacking mid in form, it exploded after team of the year as well. 1.5 million coins and then rebounding all the way to 2.2 mil in a month's time after team of the year. Now, of course, this year, as I mentioned with the Icon Moments promo, maybe with future stars being just so quickly after team of the year, you might not see the rises be this dramatic on some cards um, because we'll have more promos coming after this and EA will try to crash the market again after team of the year at some point. But for a short-term rise, you want to focus again on the very, very meta items. One other thing I want to look at is buying the special cards of players that get in team of the year. Kevin De Bruyne, team of the year card last year, right? This 98 KDB was a incredible card. So overpowered that it made people want to go buy his other items in the game. Also, Virgil van Dijk was the Varane of this year in last year's game. This was the center back that you used last year. Just to give you a reference, gold VVD last year was 400k at team of the year. This year, he's 190,000 coins, right? And Varane is kind of that taking over that VVD spot this year. So we'll talk about Varane in a second. I know a lot of you guys want to know, but check out this Van Dyke last year, right? 640,000 coins up to 889,000. Two weeks, at one week after, technically a week and a half, right? From his low point on the 6th to the 15th, we have nine days and this guy went up over 200,000 coins as one of the most meta center backs in the game. And then, of, of course, with this De Bruyne card going from 650K all the way up to 975K in a couple weeks. So one thing we're going to look at this year is the guys that get in team of the year, right? Possibly De Bruyne again. Bruno Fernandez. He does have a lot of special cards, but I still think you're going to see a rise on the Bruno Fernandez specials. Um, you know, guys like Joshua Kimmich could get into team of the year. Van Dyke only has one special card this year, but is still very meta. Maybe a Ramos, you know? Maybe the... Um, the road to the final Alfonso Davies is a card that we could see a massive market rise on this year as well. So just kind of keep in mind for that, um, buying a card that has a team of the year, buying the lower tier of it, put those cards on your watch list because those should do very, very well this year. Now I want to talk about a couple promo teams that should do good as a whole. Now specific players that are the most meta from these teams will rise the most, but I really, really like headliners. And here's why. These cards have never been out before team of the year. Um, I still think that a lot of these cards are relatively low compared to how expensive the market is this year on the high tier. And I'll talk about that in a second. Um, I still think these cards have room to rise, especially because they're live items. Uh, they just came out. They're brand new, right? The most hyped stuff is going to rise the most right after black or after team of the year. And these cards have barely been out for a couple weeks and they're orange, right? They pop, they're live items. Some of these guys are on three win streaks and they have the hype of almost winning that fourth game. And if you're somebody, again, one thing I'm going to mention a lot with what cards you want to buy after team of the year is think about team of the year and how many coins people are getting, right? This is an example that I probably should have said this a little bit earlier, but take a look at this Timo Werner inform from last year. This guy was, you know, 200,000 coins before team of the year after Black Friday, 220,000 coins, drops off big time into the team of the year time frame, right? It's still Timo Werner. It's still a, a pacey striker, probably one of the top two strikers you're using in the Bundesliga last year in FIFA 20. Team of the year comes, this guy's 90, 95,000 coins. He barely rises in the next couple weeks, right? He goes from 95k to 105,000 coins. The guy goes up 10,000 coins in two weeks when other cards went up half a million. The reason why this card didn't rise is people didn't want to use it anymore. They wanted to use a better player. They wanted to use a higher rated version of a card um, in FIFA because they just they just plain had more coins. And if you look through some of these past specials, the lower tier ones didn't rise as much, right? The ones that rose the most were the more upper tier ones, the, the, the higher tier versions, like the best special card of each player. As we look at some of these promo teams, I think this Diego Carlos could be a massive riser. This Teo Hernandez, right? This version of Hyunmin Sun is the best version that we have in the game. This Holland, right? Dortmund's kind of on a skid right now, but this is this guy scores goals everywhere, right? Even this Lozano card is still extinct at 600k, which is crazy. But post team of the year, 99 pace, that's a card a lot of people might want to have in their teams, and they're going to have the coins 
to buy it, right? That's after team of the year, why you start to see some of these very, very absurd prices. That's why you see crazy prices at team of the year. Once we see team of the year cards at 5 million coins, 6 million coins, team of the year Ronaldo at 8 million coins, it's not going to be out of question for some of these other players that are very meta and very popular, like especially these very rare record breakers. Van Dyke, 1 million coins this week. He only has one special card in the game, apart from his team of the year that should be coming. This card might go to 1.4, 1.5 mil, depending on how much hype it has, how good his uh, team of the year is. This card's just that rare. It could go that high, right? Another record breaker that two could do insanely well is Mbappe. If he gets a team of the year and it's 5 million coins or 5.5 mil, this card, 2.3, it might go to 2.7, right? Because it's just... A, a, a crazy good card of Mbappe. People are going to have the coins and they're going to pay for that insanely high rated version. One other card that I think could be have an astronomical rise because of its rarity and because of how OP he is in game is this Varan. This guy was 990k in packs up to 1.2 mil and the guy just keeps rising. I'm pretty sure I saw him in the 1-2 range earlier this week, but people have gone out and they've bought some teams. If this guy is back down towards 1.2 mil on the PlayStation and about a million coins on that on the Xbox, I would not be surprised if this card goes to 1.6, 1.7, maybe even 1.8 mil in a couple weeks after Team of the Year because people are going to want to still have that Varan player build in the game, this OP center back that is in the game that everybody likes to use. And they're going to want to be able to have his best version and they're going to be able to pay for it. So that's one thing to keep in mind is that just the cards that are super meta and that everybody likes to use. We often look at this popular player list on Footbin, right? We look here all the time. Look for cards that you see on here, right? Cards that are from earlier team of the weeks and earlier promos that still make it on this list because they're so meta because people look at them all the time. We're not Sanchez in form. Probably rising after team of the year. But this card, Ronaldo Sanchez, is rolled to the final item. People are going to be able to pay buku money. Even though this is already so expensive, people are going to be willing to pay even more because it's live, because it's the best version of this card, and because it looks better. Orange, or sorry, like the yellow orange, the live item, the road to the final card design, that looks freaking dope, right? Same thing with Musa Sissoko, road to the final, right? Very OP card. It's very expensive, but people are going to have the coins to buy it and to pay for that that extra price tag after team of the year. So that's what I wanted to say about some of this stuff is just focus on stuff that is going to be um, the live items I think will be very good. Very meta, of course, is what we're going to look into and look at. But of course, uh, road to the finals. I want to speak about that for a second. These guys are very, very rare. And the road to the final Champions League games are going to be very soon after team of the year is over. So Soko at 940, that's not a bad price, by the way, right now. But, you know, look at some of these cards from teams that you think will do well. If a team has a good matchup for their the first round of the knockout stages in Champions League or in Europa League games, that card's probably going to rise up a little bit more because there's just going to be more hype and there's going to be more demand for a card that could get upgraded right after team of the year. So keep an eye on those cards because these are very rare as well. Now, what do you do about some of them that are already inflated, right? Let's talk about Alaba and Goretzka for a second because these guys are already inflated because people have started to invest in these. You're going to see panic on Friday, I think. But the cards that are going to be the best to invest in are honestly the ones that are going to spike right away. Now, as long as you don't have over-investing, last year, everybody knew that this Virgil inform was going to rise after Team of the Year. Look how fast he rose, right? He was 647 on Monday, which was the first day of Team of the Year. Day two, he's 700. And then by, you know, by the time all the whole team comes in packs on Thursday, he's already up 100,000 coins almost, 720K. Into the weekend league we go, bang, he's 800,000 coins and he's already skied. So the stuff that's going to rise quick is going to be the stuff that probably people want to use and that's why it's getting bought up. So this Alaba card and the Goretzka card that are up so much already, yeah, you know what? It's probably a good investment. And yes, you could see more panic selling and there probably is going to be another opportunity to buy in on some of the stuff either tomorrow or either on the weekend league sell-off because of, you know, other stuff that's going to happen during team of the year and panic selling. But since you've already seen those cards rise up so much already, those look like pretty good investments to me. Now, obviously we can't control what EA is going to do for SBCs. Like they could put out a flashback Boateng and that could, you know, be a very good value SBC and EA could juice the stats and that would hurt this card's rise out of packs. But just as the way it looks right now with the amount of special cards that are out there, 
I understand why people are buying these cards. If you haven't bought them yet, wait for another buy window. Yes, these are very good investments. And I think you will have another opportunity to get in. He might not be under 500K, but if you see 520, 510, you know, a 30, 40K drop on a very rare card like this that a lot of people are gonna wanna use, might not be that terrible of an idea. Now, the second thing, or the second thing I haven't talked about yet is icons and goal cards. And I'm just gonna go back to the game here for a second because it's been way too long on Footbin. But um, icons this year, some of the icons that I've seen and the prices that I've seen for these cards, these guys are still very expensive to what they were last year. Just a quick fact, just a quick fact and just a note on how expensive the high tier market is in this game. Mid Maldini last year in FIFA 20 at this time was 1 million coins, 1 to 1.1 million coins on the PlayStation. This 92 Maldini this year is 2 mil, 1.9 to 2 mil. This guy is almost a million coins, 800K I guess you could say, more expensive this year on the game. And if I, I was comparing a lot of prices between this year and between last year, even on a lower scale, right? Baby Cannavaro last year was 600,000 coins. He this year is 700K and this is even down a little bit right now. Do these cards and do these icons rebound after team of the year? Absolutely. But I just wanted to note that some of these icons still might be a bit overpriced. That's why I've been a little bit skeptical on cards like Cruyff, on cards like Eusebio, the icons that are in the three to four to five million coin range. These cards could be very easily replaced by team of the years in people's teams like this. So I'm just saying, especially with icon moments coming up, if you're gonna buy an icon, the ones I feel the safest about as a pure investment are gonna be guys like that Cannavaro or, or cards that have already dropped off a decent amount. I'm not saying that that Cruyff couldn't go up from 3.5 to 3.8, 3.9 mil. It's possible. I'm just saying that a lot of those cards are more expensive this year than they were last year. And I'm curious to see what EA does with team of the year, the supply of team of the year cards, how expensive they are, and um, if people sell icons to go buy team of the year. So again, let's take a look at some icons um, from last year in FIFA 20. Ruud Hullet last year, 765,000 coins, right? 800K, let's say. That dude right now is 1 mil, 1.1 mil in FIFA, right? As an out of packs icon. I still like the investment this year because look at this rise going from 780K all the way up to 1.1 mil in a month's time. Crazy rise on Hullet out of packs. And it just makes sense, right? Because this Hullet is 3 mil or 4 mil this year. That's a huge price gap on a guy like Hullet. If you want to have him in your team, you're probably buying the baby card, to be completely honest. And again, here's the kind of RL from last year going from, you know, 570K all the way up to 840K in a month's time. That's a huge rise on an out of packs icon. Now, I just looked at baby icons because those are out of packs, but even guys like I remember watching this Makalele card last year, especially with the Conte team of the year and the inform that did so well. If we look at Makalele from FIFA 20, uh, this guy did incredibly well. It's a mid icon that was even in packs. You can see he got supplied during the week, stayed low, went from 400K all the way up to almost 600,000 coins at his peak just two weeks after as a French icon. Of course, the French nationality is always big for linking to FIFA. And uh, just this guy's body type as the Conte-esque style. People remember that, right? People remember that. They'll probably look to this card this year for another one that could rise very, very nicely out of packs. And I wanna talk about gold cards because this year, this gold Varane is the Van Dyke of last year. And I even wanna show you Varane from last year. He was still a very meta card. Take a look at this. Panic selling into team of the year. He's 117,000 coins. He goes up to 166K by the end of January with all the pack onslaught that happened during team of the year. This guy still, the Monday, January 6th, which was the first day of team of the year, albeit it was a Monday, this year could be different because we'll still have a weekend league sell-off in there. Um, I'm gonna watch the Panic Boys and watch the Panic Selling on Friday because it might be buy time for some of the super meta, um, super popular cards like this Varane in this game. Now this year, Varane isn't even that much more expensive than he was last year, right? He was 115 last year. He's 140 this year. He's kind of 150 right now. If you see this guy in like the 120s or 130s on a Friday morning panic sell or during the first or second hour of lightning rounds when saved up packs are being opened on Friday, I think you have my blessing to go in, right? Because that's a crazy, crazy card this year that so many people like to use 
in FIFA. Now, I want to take a look at Van Dyke as well. I think this might even be a decent buy this year. Definitely not as hyped up. You don't see the fluctuations on his graph like you saw on his graph last year or on Varane's graph this year. But take a look at this card last year, man. Down at the team of the year, 390,000 coins, 400K at his lowest, bouncing back to 500,000 coins. Now, of course, we're a little bit scared this year with some gold cards because just gold cards this year are so, so supplied. So I'd be a little bit more scared this year than last year on a couple of those items. But if you're buying the most OP cards in the game, even like Mbappe, Neymar, yes, I do think they could crash after team of the year at some point, but I think there's going to be a time where those cards do rise at some point post team of the year. Last card I want to talk about, Marcus Rashford, probably not getting a team of the year. I've already talked about very meta items in this game, and I haven't talked about Marcus Rashford. One of the most popular cards in this game. He's got many special items. That's the only thing I don't like about his card. He has many special items, but I love the 86 striker and I love this 87 striker because pro players love this card. Everybody's going to be probably getting some form of a Bruno Fernandez in their team this year uh, because of him possibly getting a team of the year because of his player of the month. And even if you can't do Bruno Fernandez as player of the month and you're on a lower tier budget, possibly look at this Bruno Fernandez uh, in form. Wait a second. Bruno Fernandez Inform is 463. I have one on my transfer list that I bought for 420 and it has not sold yet because I have not relisted. So I'm going to relist this a little, little bit higher. 477. We'll take that. Anyways, um, that Bruno Fernandez, all of his special cards this year, I think he's going to be one of the most hyped cards during Team of the Year because of how good his card is in game. He does have many specials just like Rashford does. But I think all of them, to an extent, rise post-team of the year because they're that meta, they're Manchester United, they've got the hype, and um, they're just they're that popular, and people love them, right? GGMU, right, boys? Anyways, that's the video for today. I just wanted to talk through, again, a lot of the cards and just the thought process on why cards will rise after team of the year, what will cause them to do that. Again, there's so many coins in this game this year. That's why stuff is more expensive than last year. And there's going to be even more coins put in over the Black Friday period. I said Black Friday again. Team of the year period with the amount of packs that are going to be opened, the saved packs, the lightning rounds, and everything. I do expect the market to rise. And there's a lot of cards I didn't talk about, right? Do your own research. Look at your budget. See how many co coins that you have some opportunities you might be able to invest or even buy a card for your team and see that card rise after team of the year. So if you like this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.